Item number SCP-1970 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Item is located at Storage Site 23, Room 3. Although SCP-1970 requires minimal security, it must be isolated from other anomalous objects. Item is to be under constant audio supervision for the purpose of recording its vocalizations, and the item should be visually inspected at least two times daily. Objects classified as SCP-1970-1, 1970-2, and 1970-3 are to be kept in sealed plastic bags in separately locked containers within Room 3. Description. SCP-1970 is a television set similar to a Zenith model L092Y. Labels on its back indicate that the device was manufactured in 1979. However, the piece was recovered in 1972 from Russell Bouth of Yonkers, New York, who had owned the device for at least four years, according to recovered journals and letters. SCP-1970 was able to function as a normal analog television and can still receive analog signals, although it is no longer capable of displaying an image following test 1970-AE-34. Conducted on March 1, 2009, test AE-34 required the opening of SCP-1970's outer casing, which produced distressed vocalizations from members of SCP-1970-1, 2, and 3, all of whom appeared to asphyxiate shortly afterwards. Their remains are now stored separately from the item. No mechanical moving parts were discovered within the casing, and the test was aborted before the separately enclosed speaker casing was opened. SCP-1970 does not require any power source, and will begin functioning as soon as it is switched on. When turned on, an internal light would eliminate a tightly packed group of thousands of humanoid figures pressed against a screen, ranging from 1 to 1.5 mm in height. The skin color of the humanoids were distinctly blue, red, or green, and they were capable of rapid movement, climbing across each other, or disappearing deeper into the item for the purpose of displaying whatever broadcast image SCP-1970 was tuned to receive. A fourth group of white and gray skinned humanoids can occasionally be observed within the speaker housing, and their vocalizations mimic the audio broadcast. The number and designation of these humanoids are as follows. SCP-1970-1 Red Population 1982 SCP-1970-2 Green Population 3946 SCP-1970-3 Blue Population 1979 SCP-1970-4 White to gray, population unknown. The humanoids exhibit individual features and sexual characteristics similar to human beings, but no infant or young examples were recovered after test AE-34. When SCP-1970 was not in operation, it was possible to hear movement within the casing, as well as occasional whispers and breathing noises, including snoring. Following test AE-34, breathing can still be heard from within the speakers, and an audio broadcast will still be produced if the item is exposed to a proper analog signal. When not in use, SCP-1970-4 will often call out in Taiwanese in an attempt to communicate with the other population groups of SCP-1970, or to vocalize distress at the lack of ambient analog television signals. Addendum. Russell Bout was a diagnosed schizophrenic and committed suicide in 1972. Although research with exposure to SCP-1970 indicates that his condition was neither triggered nor directly worsened by SCP-1970's acknowledged properties. However, due to his condition, he was living alone and unable to convince any family members or caretakers that his television set was, quote, filled with tiny, writhing men, unquote. 